Thanks for giving me the opportunity to speak with you this evening. Um, you have to ask yourself, what's the point of this debate? Uh, there isn't any persuasive evidence that uh, Pleasant Hill is a violent crime problem. There's even less evidence that violent crime is in any way connected to the two gun stores in the city. Uh, the, the changes being considered are simply a solution in the search for a problem. The problem is likely to be some sort of litigation. Uh, I know that the Legal Community Against Violence has authored that pretty memo uh, citing cases and giving legal analysis as to why this rezoning shouldn't be a problem. And they're lawyers, so they must be right. But courts have, for the most part, rejected and continue to reject the constitutionally suspect theories of the LCA. Uh, did you know they've lost more than two-thirds of the cases they've been involved in? The Supreme Court actually laughed at Chicago's lawyer as he attempted to present LCAP's position in March of last year. Of course, LCAB doesn't have an attorney client relationship with you. Uh, they aren't obligated to proceed in the best interest of your city. If they did, if the city was a client of LCAB, they'd advise you not to enact these measures because they know what will happen if they're challenged in court. They tell you exactly what happens to governments that decide to step on their constituents' rights. They lose. Washington, D.C. learned this the hard way, that they can't violate the civil rights of its residents. That lesson cost them three and a half million dollars. They lose in the same way San Francisco did, uh, who followed the advice of LCAB on Proposition 8, which cost them just south of a million. They'll lose like Chicago did, like Cleveland did, both beneficiaries of LCAB's ungrounded legal theories. A loss in civil rights lit uh, litigation can cripple the city that's already experiencing budget shortfalls. And you'll lose. And Pleasant Hill will simply represent another municipality that got burned for trusting the LCAB paying out monies to lawyers that could have been spent on cops and librarians. Honestly, you'd be better off taking advice from flat earthers. <laughs> Please, reject.